What's good loves and welcome to or back to my channel. It's your girl Kirstie Renee. I have a fragrance video for you guys today. I haven't did a fragrance video in a good little minute because there wasn't any really like fragrances from Bath and Body Works or like Victoria's Secret that I wanted. Boatload of stuff to share with you guys today. So I have some stuff from Pink and I have the whole entire Splash collection. So that's the main focus of today's video is going to be reviewing the Splash collection. So I did pick up all of the fragrances for today's video purposes. If I don't like any of them, of course, I will take the ones that I do not like back to the store. And if I do like them, I will keep all because this is a very beautiful collection. I really love the packaging. It's very cute. I don't know if you guys can see. I was in the mall the other day and I just so happened to go into Victoria's Secret and I saw just to see because I knew last time that they didn't have it, but they had them so i'm so glad i definitely picked them up i did the five for 40 and it's only four fragrances in this line so i did get an extra fragrance um from another line and then i got two for 22 dollars from victoria's secret pink so i have two fragrances for that but the moment of truth is going to be the splash collection so we have the flankers for bare vanilla pure seduction love spell and velvet petals so I'm going to start off with Bare Vanilla and tell you guys my thoughts of it. So I did go ahead and wear this fragrance yesterday. I wore this fragrance all day yesterday. I swished it around. I sprayed it for like a good two minutes. And y'all, the scent was completely gone within about an hour of me having it on. I could completely not smell it anymore at all. And this one, the bottles are leaky. See that? The bottles are kind of leaking again on this. They were on the last set that I got, which I believe was the heat collection. The heat collection was pretty leaky as well. So definitely their quality of packaging is decreasing and that's not good, okay? Bare Vanilla is coconut flowers, iridescent lotus. My thoughts on this one is it smells similar to a lot of their vanilla fragrances as you guys know bare vanilla radiant is my favorite this one smells very tropical though it definitely gives you that bare vanilla vibe but then it also has like a very tropical and coconutty smells like coconut water very tropical vibe going to it it is a very beautiful fragrance i do give this fragrance right here i give the fragrance itself an 8.5 but the longevity of it is trash next up we have pure seduction splash kind of like a floral type of scent like a floral tropical scent i can smell it the floral in this one is pretty heavy magnolia petals and juicy watermelon i'm not really getting watermelon from this i'm getting more of the magnolia petals and a slightly tropical i guess that's the watermelon but i don't smell watermelon in this one and the packaging for this one is not leaking. Like I said, my bare vanilla packaging is leaking, but this one isn't. Super cute packaging. Love the bottle. Um, I have not fully worn this one yet, but as I said, this one is more floral. So if you're a floral girl or like you're a floral fruity girl, then this one would be for you. I'm not a huge fan of it, and I give this one a 7.5. Next up, we have Love Spell Splash. Another one where the packaging is really leaky around it. Hate that. Love the color. So this one, um, this one really smells like citrusy. You can get a lot of like citrusy types of fruit. You can, it's almost like there's lime inside of this one. So this one is raspberry glisten and peach tea. I really feel like I can smell the raspberry, the, ah, I really feel like I can smell the raspberry and the peach tea. Like I said, you get a very fruity, almost lime-like, if that's the word that I'm looking for. But it's very fruity, but it's like a tart fruity. It's not very sweet and juicy and plump fruits. It's more tart and like sour. The scent isn't sour. It's fresh, but it's just very, the raspberry in this is very heavy. And then you can smell the undertone of the peach. I give this one right here an eight. I feel like this one is growing on me and I do want to smell it. It is very different. I have never smelled anything that smells like this. 
um i do have all of the love spells and it, this one is just very different from it so if you're looking for something different something that you never tried before from victoria's secret that isn't given the same vibes as everything else then this is a great one for you i could be wrong it could smell like another one but my nose is telling me different and this one is a very unique fragrance and last for the splash is going to be velvet petal splash my favorite this one is more of like a gourmand sweet but not like intoxicatingly sweet like strawberry pound cake or like candied sorbet or anything like that this one is more of like your cashmere i feel like this one would pair very well with like a vanilla scent i feel like that would really top this one off so this one is jasmine sparkle and pink lemon this one is very beautiful and i would definitely keep this one and take all the rest of these back because i'm just not a huge fan this bare vanilla it's okay it's okay but like i said the longevity on it it's just not there i would probably mix this with something but this is my favorite from the whole line you guys may think otherwise but as for me this is my type of scent. This is the type of scent I like to smell on myself and smell really good. So I give this one a 10. Let me show you guys the rest of the items. That's it for the Splash Collection. Like I said, there's only four fragrances. And if I could only recommend one, it would definitely be Velvet Petals or the Bare Vanilla. Pure Seduction and Love Spell are just not really my vibe. But they smell okay. But it's just... And they're very strong and they're very strong and potent when you first spray them. But like I said, as time goes on, you're not really going to be able to smell your fragrance as much as when you first spray it. And I don't care how much I spray. You have to do a lot of layering with, oh, excuse me. You have to do a lot of layering with Victoria's Secret fragrances. So I see they haven't changed much since I went on my low-key boycott from them. They haven't changed that much. The next one that I got from Victoria's Secret is Pastel Skies. Now, I have seen people, I haven't seen anyone review the Splash Collection, but I have seen people um, review this collection. I'm not sure what this collection is called, but they do have like four or so fragrances, four or five fragrances in this collection as well. And I see a lot of people talking about they don't like this one. And I don't know why, because I low-key kind of like it. This one smells nothing like the name. The name of this one, you would think that it's going to smell pastel sugar skies. You think it's going to smell very sugary, very candy-like. But this one is more so like Noor Candy. I think that's what it's called. You know, from Victoria's Secret. It's like that. Like the name just doesn't fit it. Because this one is like very... And this one is leaking so bad, y'all. See how bad this one is leaking? come on victoria's secret i've got to do better with this packaging because this thing is like falling everywhere and look how it's spraying like this bottle is so raggedy now look y'all see that come on and this thing is just leaking everywhere packaging is a zero out of ten a negative zero the top is all filled with perfume really people y'all got to do better but i actually kind of like this it smells kind of floral but floral fruity so this one is vanilla orchid paints cotton candy skies nothing about cotton candy in this fragrance when it settles on your skin you get like a really like sweet type of scent coming when you first spray it's very floral almost and it's very strong it's very potent but like i said it settles onto the skin very fast i'm gonna try and get you guys a good a good representation of this because a lot of people are saying they don't like this one so many people my nose is just different from a lot of people ones that's what i've noticed that's what i think makes my video stand out is a lot of things other people don't like i do like so for the 10 percent of us in the world that do like these types of fragrances that i like i i love all y'all okay it's okay it's not bad but this one is definitely going back to the store because this packaging 20 dollars, and this is how no ma'am it's definitely going back to the store and i give this scent Maybe like a, a 8, a 7.5, 8. I need to wear that. See how it performs on my skin and then make my final decision. And my last two fragrances are from Victoria's Secret. So I have Pink Beach, which is Sun Kissed Coconut and Juicy Papaya. 
And I also have coconut flower and chilled vanilla. Two beautiful fragrances. I love this packaging so much. I'm definitely keeping both of these because I love the way they both smell. So this one is Tropic Vanilla. This one is a very beautiful vanilla. I really like this scent. Um, I'm definitely going to wear it a little bit more. I did wear it once. I love how sweet the vanilla is. Like it's a very sweet but not overpowering vanilla like and it has like hints of coconut in it. I love this one. It's a very gorgeous scent. I would definitely recommend that you guys pick this one up and I give this one a 10. Pink Beach is another very, oh my gosh, this one smells so good. It's very gourmand but not like not like cakey gourmand it's just very beautiful it's gourmand and tropical it's a very gorgeous blend i absolutely love this one so much i give this one a 10 plus 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 i would definitely repurchase this one especially if the longevity is there because the smell of this one just smells oh so delicious okay so i would highly recommend these two and velvet petal splash these are very gorgeous scents in my opinion let me know you guys thoughts on the new splash collection have you went inside the store and smelt them have you bought any from the splash collection if you did which ones did you get and which one is your favorite if you haven't got which one do you think that you probably want to go pick up or look a little more into you guys are truly the best and i'm going to go ahead and give you guys my verse of the day from the bible app if you don't have the bible app you should definitely download it so today's verse is charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the lord is to be praised proverbs 31 30 i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video